Hey guys, it's Cody Phillips here, and uh, I have a redstone showcase, I guess. I'm not really doing a tutorial on it, but I will show you around. And for the moment, this is an automatic bridge that is not automating. But that is only so I can get you to see this nice little TNT and obsidian trap that I made. The redstone would have to be reset, reset of course, because it would blow up. But everything past right there stays. So just reset TNT and redstone and it's good. I'll show that off first. I mean, might as well. I already talked about it. So we go in here. This is the uh, only place you actually have to get to to um, completely redo it. So start here, there. Both of them will go at the same time. Close the door on my way out. And I'll show you the uh, redstone behind that. It's going all the way through here and that goes all the way underneath this entire redstone mechanic and goes up here I'm not very good with redstone so I just elevated it naturally all the way to a lever at the main gate so that would be basically you're sitting here you're getting invaded BAM explodes alright so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this and see uh, show you this when it's all done it'll be re regenerating all right all right so I thought I'd just update this already so uh, I'm bad at keeping redstones uh, redstone small so uh, yeah this is pretty much the entire bridge building mechanic and over here is the button that starts up the clock which will be pushing the piston over here. This is a T flip flop that'll get a signal from the clock every second or so, uh, two seconds or so, and then I'll switch it on and off, which will toggle this slowly enough to let the stone be uh, created in the generator right here. The stone, uh, this uh, lava goes down into a water. Uh, source so that creates regular stone and that gets pushed along the edge underneath right here and so we have the pistons right here pushing the stone and let's see Is it, yep it's pushing the uh, stone right here so it rebuilds it slowly every uh, piece by piece Over here is the uh, pistons. They have a line of redstone across the top and is fed through right here. I was trying to figure out how to make this a lot more sensible because when I first did this, they would turn on and sometimes they wouldn't finish. So to fix that, I made it a second clock right here that goes slowly enough to let the stone pass over here into the next uh, compartment. So. The stone passes, and then after enough time, it pushes it with uh, the pistons at the back. And so, right here we have a uh, what's it called? A bud, a block update detector. Underneath there's a torch. I'll show you actually. It's gonna push those over here. There we go. And so that torch will light this up when there's a block over top of it, which will make those go push the next block down. And to make it so that it didn't stop when it was full and it would keep on updating, this is what I did. I added the block updater to go here, and when it's uh, when it's not full, this will basically stop the circuit from going. This circuit over here leads all the way to every single one of those and that's pretty much it for that so underneath there was the TNT detonator that leads there I'll show you the inside of this one I guess so there's the T flip flop over here I have the worst clock ever it basically goes all the way up here over here has like six of these in it and it's very cumbersome, I guess. Doesn't really have a purpose. All this space is just wasted. 
here's where the, uh, what's it called, the button that resets this clock, should it ever stop. And ideally I would put it over on this side, but I started on there anyway. Alright, so most of this was actually built with the uh, stuff I got in survival through a cave over there. I'll show you some of my progress here. I kind of wanted to see how I could stop that circuit, so just messing about. Everything has been updated. Pushes it. See, it just pushes the block. Pushes the block. It works extremely well, actually. And I guess it's time for the uh, main event. Let's set this fucker off. And it already starts building itself. Alright, so, I guess I should just do a quick uh, reset of the system. Whoops, destroyed one of my obsidian blast protectors. And there you go, reset. Usually it just blows up that little spot. Like so. So if anybody's walking right here, they're trying to get into your base, and you're like, no, get out of my base. They f go over here, of course they're not flying, and you hit that. Show them who the uh, boss is. Alright, thanks for watching. That's been my uh, bridge builder and trap underneath. Thanks for watching. Like and, subscri Ugh. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.